what is up youtube world i'm ashley d before i get started please go ahead hit that like and subscribe button also feel free to share this video as well everything i state is allegedly not a guaranteed fact my own personal opinion and observation so i am going to give my opinion on the shenanigans that's going on with light on you um i know that we briefly spoken on it in the live yesterday but on this side of the street, us content creators have been moving forward, speaking on different things. But like I said, when something occurs, I'm going to definitely keep you posted. Um, and also, if you want to see receipts, be sure to check out on Instagram, Pretty Bree page. That's the ex-girlfriend of, well, still on and off little fling of Mr. Ed. Um, and also on Lupac's page as well, she has the receipts up there. But the whole situation with everything, and this is where it comes in as being a woman and being too prideful. You should never be, as a woman, too prideful. Whether you're an influencer and a million people are watching you, they're tuning into you in your every move to see what decision you make. You have to put that aside and think about these small children. Those are the ones that need your guidance. Those are the ones that looking to your every move and decision, waiting on you the, to make the right decision, waiting on you to lead and guide. So it doesn't matter what everyone else thinks. It doesn't matter if people say, I told you so. You have to be strong enough to stand in your truth and own it as a woman or a man. And being too prideful is a sin. Now, Pretty Bree released some receipts in regards to her still messing around with Mr. Ed and the argument between him and Light Onya occurred. And once again, he ran to the same female that he was exposed with on Tasha K. And the sad part is everyone attacks this female, but he gets a pass because Light Onya wants to continue to smile to the world in this fabricated relationship and pretend as though everything is okay when quite clearly... We see with our own eyes, as well as the receipts that she released, everything is not okay. And the thing is, when is it not okay, but okay to say I've had enough and walk away as a woman? People are too prideful to say it didn't work out. Time to move on. Like we've all stated, including the women that come visit on my panel. Enough is enough as a woman. You put aside your feelings and you say this is no longer working time for me to focus on myself, my healing, and focus on my children and what they need. Your kids are looking to you, and I'm quite sure arguments occur in the household because we saw that frequently when you got upset with your husband, soon to be ex, and that was exposed how angry you were, how aggressive you were, and how the yelling went back and forth in the home in front of the small children. Now, you got into an altercation with Mr. Ed. It wasn't physical. It was verbal. And you sent him text messages. You told him his clothes will be out by the front door. If he don't come get them, you're going to throw him in the trash. And you also said you know that he's with Pretty Bree. And someone sent you text messages or video tapes, video, whatever. They sent you pictures of him being with her. Now, you've introduced him to the world on the internet. So it didn't have to be her sending video or pictures to you, but it could have been one of your fans or it could have been not, not by, nobody that's not your fan hit you up on Instagram and message these to you. And instead of you taking accountability, now taking accountability is a hard thing for people that's a narc, for people that wants to always control the narrative, the scene, control what people think. They will rather live in a lie. They will rather deflect, put it on everyone else, but who the person is to blame. And the person to blame is Mr. Ed. And I use these names because I don't want to get copy striped and all this other stuff, and I'm not going through that. And I use the names because I feel like it too. Now, he is the one to blame, but yet everyone is going at the female that's what the problem is about people taking accountability. You were in a relationship with him. It did not work out, but we're going to blame her for sending pictures to you. We're going to blame her for him going to the bar, having drinks with her and her being at his house while he sleep. Now, yes, she took those pictures. Yes, he knew she was capable of doing that in the first place because that's what happened on Tasha K. 
when she exposed those text messages and audios as well. But yet he chose to deal with her again. And he didn't care about that getting leaked out. He didn't care about the aftermath or how you would possibly be hurt and feeling if that was exposed. He chose to continue to live his life as though he's a single man, go out to a public open establishment with her, have some drinks. And yes, he did leave her with the tab, but I'm quite sure he cashed that, that back to her to silence her or whatever transpired between that. Not to mention, she said she had more receipts. So accountability is something you should have made him own and stand up for it instead of putting on some skeleton costumes with the whole family dancing to a TikTok as though it never happened. Make it make sense. You want so bad to have one up on your ex-husband and prove to the world that you're happy and this relationship is working and thriving. In the same sense, you're hurting and you're heartbroken. And that's okay. As a woman, that's normal. You jumped in something ahead of yourself when you should have spent time with you and your children healing. And that's what everyone should have encouraged you to do instead of pretend that and fabricate this relationship as though it's just a um, couple goals and you are so happy. We know you're not so happy. Why would you be when all these things are being exposed about your partner cheating on you? And this is early on. This was before the year was out. At first, a video was released on his Instagram where he was in a cab with two women that were acting inappropriate with one another, but we blame Mr. Latrue for that, right? So he was so desperate to hack in this man's phone and expose the video instead of everyone holding Mr. Ed and making him take accountability for his actions and what he did when he wasn't around like on you. And he was able to get his Instagram back just that quick. Make it make sense. You guys always deflect and blame everything on everyone else, including the person that should be committed to you. Mr. Ed is the one in the relationship with Lyonia. That's who be, should be taking accountability for this. Mr. Ed is the one who said, I'm going to be in this relationship publicly with you. I'm not going to hurt you anymore. I'm committed to you. You're not committed to Pretty Breed. You're committed to him. And he knows you have a public platform. And just like always, like I stated, you've always loved on him more than he's loved on you. On all your Instagrams, on your Facebook, you show so much devotion, so much commitment. You publicly say how wonderful he is to you. You write long paragraphs, how much you love him and how much of a man he is and how blessed you are. But yet when we go on his page, the only least thing he has is some type of skit or something he's doing with one of your kids. He acknowledged you on your birthday. It was something so brief. Happy birthday, Bree. You go, girl. Love you much. Something as simple as that. But he's promoting his podcast. He's promoting where he goes out publicly to speak somewhere. And he's promoting his business and keeping it professional and cute. He's promoting his TikToks. But he does not promote your relationship as much as you promoted his. And now all of a sudden he wants to put you in a bed kissing on him out of nowhere when that's not even something that he normally never does to let us know that there is absolutely trouble in par paradise. And instead of both of you owning up to it, coming together, have your publicist write it because you'll steal it from somewhere and he doesn't have the sense to do it or better yet, he didn't even acknowledge you like that. So it doesn't matter one way or another if he does put it on his page. But come forward and say you tried. It worked out. It's not working. You're going to continue to heal and go forward with your life and do your own thing. If you did that, I guarantee you people will understand how relatable you are more than you sweeping this again under the rug. If you're going to sweep this second, third thing under the rug with the same female, you're going to continue sweeping things under the rug because now he knows no matter what, you're in it to prove a point. You're in it for the wrong reasons. You're not in it for love anymore. You're love bombing him. You're going to continue to have to buy his love. And he knows that. So he's going to continue to do him. He's going to continue to do whatever it is he wants to do. And still have this pretend fairy tale life with you. Because no matter what, you're going to continue to hold on to it. 
because you're too hurt and hell bent on winning. When it's not about winning, winning sometimes is being able to admit when to walk away from something that's no longer serving you purpose. That's no longer a relationship anymore. You have to worry about where this person is when they're not around you. You have to worry about who this person is hanging out with or if they're going to embarrass you when you guys have a little breakup. Now, if these relationships were really breakups when these things happen, that should not happen so frequently and so much in this little time that you guys have been together. Like you are 30 some years old. You have four children. You should not have to go through this. You should want to show your kids that you're strong enough, your daughters, to walk away from something that is not right. Forget proving that to your fans in the world. You have to prove it to yourself and your heart that you're worthy of a good man, that you're worthy of being a woman of your word. You were mad at your ex-husband for everything under the sun. You never proved to us that he's cheated. But yet we've seen Mr. Ed cheat on you more than the normal person would in a relationship that hasn't even been going on that long. He can't keep his story together. And then on top of that, he cheated on you with the same female, the same female that once exposed him in the type of things that he likes to do publicly on a platform. So millions can hear and you took him back then and you've taken him back now. And the only time he's acknowledging you when it's trouble in paradise and people see the patterns, you have to love yourself enough by on you to know when enough is enough and to walk away. But it's quite clear. You don't love yourself enough. You have to prove a point to the world, to your ex. You have to have somebody on your arm instead of standing alone as a single mom, thriving on focusing on your businesses, your children. And going forward and healing, that should be your main priority. Nobody is going to laugh about the breakup. And if they did, oh, well, be strong enough to say, I don't care. It's over. Let it go. I am Ashley D. Please feel free to leave your opinion down below. I'll be speaking to each and every one of you soon. Take care.